right, so you want to shallow out your iron swing. Let me show you how to do it. Now first, I want to show you there is a right way and a wrong way of doing it. And this is important to understand before we dive into it. A wrong way would be when we get to the top of the back swing, leaning back and shallowing the club like that. Now that is shallowing the club, but that's getting you in a very awkward position, like here. It's where this lead shoulder raises up too quickly, gets you in a very awkward position and will cause more problems. That is a death move. What I'd like to see you do when you get to the top, have your body lower and your lead shoulder go down as you shallow. Lead shoulder goes down as you shallow. There. That's a more efficient and a proper way of getting shallow in your golf swing. Now, why do we want to get shallow in the first place? Well, if I'm set up to a ball here with this iron, these are designed, you can see the angle on it, that it's on here. They're designed to be hit with this shaft on an angle. If I change that angle, and I come in impact high up like this, or with the toe up in the air like that, I'm going to change that angle of this iron. That's the way they're designed to be hit. They're designed to be hit with that sole of this club flat on the ground. If you change that, either way, that'll compromise your strike. So we need to shallow to hit these irons properly. Okay, there's only two things you need to do to be able to shallow your irons effectively and start striking them better. Now, the first one is your wrist angles. Extremely important. Now, you may do one of these things correctly, but not the other, and that's okay. You've only got to work on one, but there's two things you need to do. So make sure you watch both of these, because without either one of them, you're still gonna to struggle to shallow it. So with wrist angles, if I'm set up to a ball here, if I get to the top here, I want this club to be down like here, this position here. Now, to achieve that, my right wrist, a great way of thinking about this, if I was to turn a doorknob, I would do this with my right wrist. I would turn it clockwise. Now if I do that with holding a golf club and I turn it like this, all of a sudden my shaft shallows. Now, extremely important, don't miss this. When I'm doing this, I'm not putting the palm to the sky because when you do that, the face is wide open. Extremely important, extremely important. So as I go to here and I turn that door handle, I need this trail wrist of yours to be bent back like this. So from face on, in this sort of position here. So from up here, you can see my palm is more this direction. It's not to the sky. This would be open and this be a lot squarer. So I need that doorknob turned. So top of the backswing, turn. And I've still got those wrist angles. Practice that as much as you need to every day for a week until you get the right feeling. You may need to work on this more than the other part to get that club shallowing properly. When you're at the top of this backswing position, as you turn that doorknob to here, when that palm is pointing out this way, that will square the club face. Not this, that's shallowing it, but that's a very open club face and that'll only cause you to come through and flip at the golf ball. So I want you, as you turn that doorknob, to make sure you've got those wrist angles and that square club face. Now from here, it's just a matter of rotation. Rotate through to the golf ball and your improvement will just skyrocket. If you're someone that's used to coming down steep, coming over the top or flipping, this little move, little shallowing move, is gonna help you out. Now the second part is all about the pivot and the transition. Okay, for the transition, I touched on, on this on the first part of the video. As you start, transitioning from backswing to downswing, if we get up here, it's incredibly important that this lead shoulder works down, down into the ground, really pushing that lead foot into the ground. We're sort of getting into this nice little squat position there. We just don't want to do the opposite of that, which is of course this position here. 
To shallow it effectively, we need those wrist angles and we need that transition to be working as one. And that way you'll be able to shallow it as good as anyone. If you look at all of the pro, current pros or pros from 50 years ago, 100 years ago, they all shallow the club and they get into what's often called this magic position in the slot. It's got various different um, terminologies. But what they are doing, they're getting their wrist angles, they're getting that lead shoulder down, and they're getting this club to go right between that trail forearm or that trail arm. And you'll see they all get somewhere right about here. Some get it in early, some get it split that forearm a little bit later down towards impact, but they all, they all shallow it like that and they all split that trail arm. You jump on YouTube, have a look. I'll show some pro golfers during this video. They all do the same thing. They all get into that great position of shallowing. Adam Scott here in the downswing. You can see that shaft is splitting that trail forearm in a great spot there. And Van Dam, same position. John Rahm, again, splitting the trail forearm. Brooke Henderson, great spot there. And finally, Max Homer. You can see this is very common amongst the best players right around the world. As I said, you may have to train your hands first with those wrist angles of that turning that doorknob. You might have to train yourself to do that first before you work on that pivot or that transition. Just depends on where you're at in your golf swing and how you're going to improve. Now, let me show you a great little drill you can practice to build this into your game. If you practice this every day for a week, I guarantee you, you will start shallowing out that club and really striking the ball solid. All right, let me show you a simple drill that you can do to start shallowing out your iron swing. So what I want you to do, you're gonna to get to the top of your back swing we're going to turn that doorknob, get into that position here, and then from here we're just going to do a nice little swing through, collect the ball, through to impact. So it's not going to be a full swing, we're going to pause on the way down and swing through. So let's do a nice and slow. I'm going to go to the top. And strike like that. I want you to practice that every day if you can for a week just doing that little pause build yourself up to doing full swings and you will start shallowing out that club you'll have a square club face and start lowering those golf scores